Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Um, it's been a really long week. I don't know if you can tell from this hair. I mean, like, what is going on here? Anyway, I wanted to make a video that was requested by um, actually several people, but this video is about how to analyze data reports from Nearpod specifically. So if that's something that you need to know, Stay tuned because that tutorial is happening now. All right, so I'm in my library right now in my Nearpod. And so if you look at any one of the lessons that you've created, you have options. And so this is actually brand new, live participation in Zoom. That's a brand new feature. And I can teach you about that one a little later. But today we are focusing specifically on the data. And so to get to my data, I'm going to click these three dots and go down to where it says reports. Okay. And so here is the lesson that I wanted to see my report on. And I had 14 kids in this lesson. So I'm going to go here, open it up. And then I can see a summary of the general participation. And um, this lets me know how many kids were engaged and how many were just not. So um, here are the different types of questions that I had in this mini lesson. And so here are the open-ended questions, all right? And so you'll see I had multiple questions here. All you have to do is click to open, and then you can see how many people answered it, and how many didn't, and you can see what their actual responses were, and it's the same for all of these. You can see what their actual answer, answers were. Moving to draw it, this is one of the options um, for questioning, and so if I click here, I can see that she was drawing directly on the sheet, and I can see the questions that she answered. I can analyze this. Cool, awesome. And I can do that for all the kids that participated. And then the collaborate board, which is another question type that I used, I'll just click the bar to show me my options. And I can do the edit tool version or just the view only. And for the purposes of the video today, I'm just going to choose view only. And so um, this tells me what my students wrote. And I can kind of look there and it's really great for seeing um, engagement and at the top here you'll see it says our goals it opened up in a new window so i can click the x on that and go back to my original screen and so now something that i always get asked is but do i have to look at these things one by one that's so time consuming is there a different way and so what i want to show you is that it really it doesn't really get that much better i'm sorry it doesn't get that much better with the data, I can click to share it with anybody. And so I previously shared it with myself so that I could see kind of what that's going to look like. And I'll show you, this is what it looks like. It sends you a PDF of basically what you just saw online. And it tells you the participation and it's going to give me my draw it. I can look at these options, scroll down a little bit. Here's the answers for my open-ended questions. And I can read these, but again, it's still one by one by one. And do I want to look at nine pages of data? Think about if you have a week, a school week, five days out of the week, you're going to have five of these sheets of paper and, or sorry, five entire PDFs, depending on how long the lesson is, that's gonna determine how long your PDF is, but you'll sit through this one by one by one and look at it and analyze it. Now, it is doable. You can honestly sit and analyze this one by one. A lot of teachers have done it and they continue to do it. It just depends on what your style is. So if I go to my reports, another option that you'll see, I get asked this a lot, but Sierra, why can't we just export it to Excel. I really like Excel. I like to see my data in columns and rows. That's easier for me. That's an option. You can export this to an Excel sheet. So when you click downloads, you are going to click CSV. Those are comma separated values. All right. So I want to do the session view because I want to see the results from my current session. And I'm going to click that. 
where do I want to save it? Google Drive or local drive? I usually save it to my local drive just because it's an immediate download. When you do it to Google, you have to pick which folder do you want and then open up that folder and then save it as a document. And for me, it's just a lot simpler to save it directly to my computer. Local drive, and you'll see that I had a download here. So let's open that bad boy up. And this is what it looks like. You can see the kids that participated. I can click on their answers, and then it shows me an image of their memory jogger, which remember, that was my draw it question. And so I can see this here. That just gives me a bigger view of it. But I don't really need that. I mean, you might. That's cool. I don't really need that. And so this is the Excel sheet. So if you're ready. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Tell me now, it ain't pretty. So look at this. This is the collaboration board. That's what it looks like. If I go all the way back to the beginning here, I have my names, the dates. Um, let's see, draw it. Look at the draw it. It's a it's the title with the JPG, like JPEG. And so that's a JPEG that you saw in my files earlier that I just showed you. Moving on, this says um, OEQ. That's the open-ended question. Let's double click this to open it up a little. Here's my open-ended question. And then I see these are the students who answered. All right, let's close that. Here's another open-ended question. All right, and I can see here, these are the children that answered but I need to go back to see their names to see who it actually was that answered that question. And so as we continue on, this is the collaboration. Remember how I showed it to you? And it was a, um, it was an image. Well, I have to copy this now, Control C for copy, go back into Google, open up a new tab, paste it in and press enter. And now I can see those answers. So, I don't know if you were counting, but that was like a four-step process. That's like a lot of clicks, and I'm not honestly interested in doing all of those clicks. So, I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet, and let's continue looking. Here's another collaboration board. I don't want to paste this in, but if I want to look at it, I have to paste it in. So, with that, I want to take you back into Nearpod results so that, um, here, let's look at that PDF again. So you saw the Excel sheet. This is the Excel sheet. And let me just minimize this. This is the Excel sheet. And then here we have, whoops. And then here we have the PDF. And so in my opinion, and this is just me, I'm just one educator. There's many in the world with different opinions. But for me, for Nearpod, as far as using it as my main method for class, from a data analyst, or sorry, from a data analysis perspective, it's it doesn't work for me. I'm not feeling it because I either get this Excel sheet or I get this PDF. But I'm the type who likes to see everything kind of laid out in a format that's easy for me to analyze. And for me, this is not, this is not, um, it's just not doing it for me. But again, this is my opinion. I'm not the spokesperson for Nearpod or for educational technology of the world. You are free to make your own opinions. If this works for you, amazing. Use it and enjoy it. But for me, Nearpod is more of a, I can use it to create really cool lessons. But when it comes to lessons that I'm going to need hard data and evidence on, I'm probably not going to use Nearpod. I'm probably only going to use that for um, just quick lessons to spark engagement and to have my students learn um, different thematic topics, but not necessarily things that they're going to have a, a hard grade on. So 
I hope that this helped you understand a little bit about Nearpod and about how the data aspect works. And if you found value in this video, please like it and comment below. Share your opinion with me. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night. It really depends on when you're watching this. I don't know. Anyway, adios.